Hello my friends. Welcome to my channel. I'm Bonnie and this is Bonnie's Fluid Creations. I'm going to try a unique style crazy kind of uh, Dutch pour today. I have watched a video by Erica Hughes Art. Erica Hughes is a great teacher. She's got some awesome tips and I really enjoy watching her videos. So if you haven't seen um, any of her videos here on YouTube, um, switch on over to her channel later. And it, 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 she's just an amazing artist. I've learned a lot from her. And along with so many of these other YouTube artists that I've been watching. I've been having a problem with the Dutch pour. I'm not very good at it. It's a technique that I just can't seem to master. So when I saw Erica Hughes' video, I thought, I'm going to give it a shot to see. It might be just a, a, it's a different, unique way to do a Dutch pour. So that's what I'm going to be doing today on a 16 by 20 canvas, of which I have taped the back and I put my push pins in, making sure it's level on all, all sides, each direction. I like using those push pins. I can adjust them pretty easily. Um, it works for me anyway, and it lifts the canvas off the table far enough to where I can get and pull my drips off and, and that sort of thing. So um, give me just a minute to make sure I've got my paints all ready to go and we'll start laying them down, okay? Okay, it looks like we're ready to go. Got the canvas all leveled nice and even there. The paints I'm going to be using, I'll list in the description, um, mostly Amsterdam paints. This is an Amsterdam bronze that I'll be putting down. This is a burnt umber. This is a bright blue that I've lightened up with some titanium white. And there, I think this is oxide black, Amsterdam. I have like a milk chocolate color that I've created here, but I'm not sure I'm going to be using that. Um, it's that burnt umber with a bunch of titanium white in there. Got to be careful. Sometimes when you do that, you get these grays and it's crazy. Um, and then of course some Amsterdam titanium white. Okay, so I'm going to lay the paint straight down without a base. Um, and then we'll pour in the white base and do some blowing and we'll see how this goes. Okay. I've made sure my paints are all pretty much the same consistency. This is the burnt umber. black in there. I don't know if I'm doing this right. <laughs> I really don't. I'm winging it, guys. I have no clue. All right. Put this blue. I have no idea how this is all going to work out, but we'll see. Let's put some titanium white over that. Let's pop us some bubbles. Like I said, I just made these paints up. Shame on me. Really should have let them sit a while. Oh, look at all those little bu bubbles popping. Wow. Okay. Let's get these paints out of the way. 
My little blow dryer I'm going to be using today is, as you can tell, you know what? I didn't put any of this milk chocolate in. I think I want some more of this blue. Maybe I'm just doing too much. I don't know. I just don't know. Like I said, I'm winging it. Yeah, anyway, so the blow dryer I'm going to be using is this little Janiri blow dryer. It's got a nice narrow concentrator to it. It's got a cool shot button. It's just a little travel blow dryer that I've gotten off of Amazon. So that's what I'm going to be using. Okay, let's, let's do this. I'm going to put it on low. Now, I know you all are thinking, hey, you forgot the base. Well, here comes the base. I do think the base is okay. Okay. Yeah, I seriously don't know if I'm doing this right or not. This is my first time trying this technique. I might have just put too much of that white down.
Wow, those colors are so pretty. You gotta be careful, I've found, that if you keep going over it, they blend too much. Yeah, those colors, I think they do well together. That blue really helps out a lot. I wish I'd had a little bit more blue through here. But it's my first time doing this, so. Oops. Can touch up the sides. Yeah, oh, this is kind of a smoky color up through here. These little hints of blue, pops of blue, pops of the copper. Very nice. Very unique, very different. Got a lot of bubbles though. Well, let me get in there, touch up my sides a bit, and um, We'll come back and see how this is um, developing. Okay, so here's what we have so far. Um, I'm, I'm not happy with the colors that I chose. They're very dark. Of course, it's very good for fall. Let me take you down for a little bit closer view and you can see the colors a little better. I am kind of happy that I added that milk chocolate in there. So we have some smoky little lacing down here. I just needed a pop of some brighter colors through this. That bronze kind of got lost in all the, the browns and chocolate colors, cappuccino colors. Oh, my dog just sneezed. <laughs> my little puppy. My little puppy. Hello, puppy. <laughs> okay, so let's come up this way. Oh, I like that right there. That's really nice. I know you want to be in this video, don't you, Rocky? So you can see all those little air bubbles that I didn't get out. And when I popped them, the little blues came through. I just have to make sure that I've got my paints mixed up pretty well in advance. Some more smoky colors up there. So, um, we're going to let this dry. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry. He's just, he's being very insistent he wants to be on this video. Okay, so um, we'll come back to it and, and see how it looks.